Um, let me first of all, can I get this one? Yes. And give me this one as well, please. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I only like uh, and pick, and, pick, with, pick and with, mix. Yeah, well, um, they're there to be picked. Yeah. Thank you for these, right? No problem. Now, my question is a question I asked over there is because I saw something on their thing, right? And yeah. what, what it is, is this. You see this Jesus thing now? Yeah. Why is it got here, Jesus is a Muslim? Okay. Because the Quran states he was a Muslim. That's a simple answer. Okay. More detailed Did answer. Did Jesus? Okay. Muslim, first, you probably come across it. Yeah. It means someone who submits to God. Yeah. Aslama yaslimu Islam and submission to God. Yep. So we yeah, believe. Just need to put this in here, yeah? No problem. Go, on, brother. We believe all of the messengers, they call to Islam. Do you want me to show you verses from Quran or you? No, I'm familiar with that part. Of you, so okay. So, but when we say Jesus, obviously Jesus is the European pronunciation of Isa, as the Quran calls him Isa. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, so is, is your point the word Muslim or is your point the word I'm Jesus gonna, or the word? I'm gonna, no, I'm not. You can't multiple choice it for me. I'll tell you what my point No problem, is, right? no problem. Yeah, just to give you, let's develop the thing. Right, so what I'm saying to you first of all is this, there was no J in the English language, right? 500 years ago, yes. years. so that's first of all the wrong, the wrong uh -huh. thing. Secondly, right, this Quran calls him Isa, yes. but the Quran also re acknowledges the Old Testament. So okay, the Torah and the, Old, to and, and the Torah and the Old Testament, is that the same thing? Uh, some of it. Okay. That's one thing. So, as you know, the Jews or the Christians, sometimes they will use the word, they use the word Torah for the first five books. And sometimes they use Torah as a collective name for all the 39 books. Well, I'm not finding yeah. the Christ yeah. Christians is, is yeah. because the Jewish people, they, yeah. they, they, uh, what do you call it, Jewish faith? Yeah, yeah, they'll call they, it Tanakh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they do not acknowledge Jesus as being yes yes yes, yes, yes. they come yes. with a messiah no no my point was Torah or Old Testament yeah but they, that, yeah, yeah. yeah my point is that you, you, you yeah. conflate the two together and I'm saying I'm not doing that you're doing that I'm, I'm not doing that okay but I'm just making you aware that I'm no aware problem. of the differences between the two but when we say when we when the Quran says Torah we're not talking about the first five books of the Old Testament okay fine but what I'm saying to you is not even that uh -huh. I'm saying to you yeah. that the Torah yeah. or the Tanakh doesn't say Isa. They they talk about Yeshua. Uh, okay. But right. So that's now uh, three names we got now. Uh, we got the one we definitely know that was it's a mistranslation actually, and it was uh, the yeah. Jesus thing, which when yeah. you put the I in there, yeah. the European language you got Aesos. Yes. Right. And then the, the Spanish Isis, uh -huh. Right. Then when you come down from there. Yeah. All right, which was the Quran, the Christian thing was supposed to be for the Quran, they say. Yeah, yeah. Then you've got Isa, the Quranic, the Muslim yes. saying Isa. Yes. And before both of them, yeah. you have the Jews saying a Yeshua talk. Okay. All right. One, one thing though. Right. Three different, wait, wait, three different names, uh -huh. and they've got three different characteristics for those people. One being the Son of God, one being a prophet and one being is supposed to come in the future. Okay. When you say Yeshua. Yeah. When they say. Okay. Or when it is said Yeshua. Yeah. yeah okay. They're referring, Yeshua is Joshua. What the English call Joshua. No. You can't go back down the J. You've got to leave the J alone. No, I'm saying what's what the European know is Joshua. So I'm asking you where Yeshua, where Yeshua is referring to the Messiah, that the Messiah will be called Yeshua. Where they refer Yeshua to Messiah, I'm not too sure. Wait, 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 wait you remember, because I don't know, yeah. it's like saying, wait, do you know the road down there? And I said, well, I don't know. No, 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 I understand, I understand. Right, so we, we, can't that, have, we can't have all information in no, front of us. I'm saying that, but you're yeah. making a different question from what I'm making, right? And I don't mind dealing with your questions, but I need to deal with my questions, but that's all. No, no, but my, my question is about your, my, uh, I don't you agree. Don't your Before I answer, I don't agree with your question because your question you is. Agree yeah, yeah. I'll, okay. I'll tell you why. You yeah, agree with my I know we don't have to agree, but when no, you say when you say that when you say that the Old Testament calls him Yeshua, 
No, I moved that. And it, I'm, you, you I'm, rightly said. No, you mentioned three names: Jesus, the well, European I one, I Isa. Yeah. 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 I don't pretend to scratch, but I don't eat and things like that. No if problem. I see you, if I no. see you scratch, I'm going to say I never saw you scratching. No. Yes. And if but, I but you said you, you say something you said wrong about me, you I'm saying to you that's not right, brother. You said there's three versions of the name. I'm saying paraphrased. Right. So I'm asking you where does the and you said the Old Testament, the Torah, refers to him as Yeshua. So I'm asking you. Is that true or not? Not that I know of, no. Okay. Because he's not mentioned in the Old Testament. Oh, he's not mentioned in the Old Testament. No. So not by name. Okay, so he's not mentioned. Yeshua is not there. Uh, you, if Yeshua is there, it's Very not talking. Good. It's not talking about right. Jesus. Okay, right. because good. No, no, no. Remember, I said yeah. this. Yeah. Forget the J. You got to throw that away. Uh, the J thing is, is only five hundred okay. years. It's coming to okay. this. So now you, now you're down to two. You're down to two. You're down to Isa. Or Yeshua. Or Yeshua. So you, now, or Emmanuel. Okay? See. No, he, he will be called Emmanuel, but he, but he, he, he it, the prophecy says that he will be called Emmanuel. But, he, but Mark, Matthew said that the verse in Isaiah about Emmanuel was, was referring to the one they, the one Europe calls Jesus. No, no never but it, what, Matthew didn't even say none of that. But, but he did. But in his whole life, or well, the Bible says he did. But in his whole life, the in his right? in his whole life, according to the New Testament. No one ever called him Emmanuel. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You can say all of that. What I'm saying to you yeah. is that when you go and look up the word Emmanuel and then everybody who does relate that to biblical text for some reason. God is with you. That, yeah. That's right. That's what they related to. That's why I took like that. They, not me. But the prophecy says he will be called that. Not him we described that way. He, he will be called that. Yeah, fine. Yeah. All that, all that, it's like, my point is this, it's just come down to the simple thing, yeah. is that one, the Jesus thing didn't exist, right? And they never existed, uh -huh. right? So, if you're talking the truth, why associate with something that's a fiction? It's just a bit different. There you go, just the thing. So this is standard, right? Okay, I'm going to answer you. Yeah, go ahead. Because we use words which are commonly known by people in order people may understand. So if it's a, if it's a, if it's a fiction, you still want to use it? It's how he's known and how he's recognized. How who's known? He didn't exist. It's a, it's a, well, the person existed, but, but, not, you know existed? but not by that name. No, but how do you know that's the same person? Okay, I will tell you. As Muslims, we only accept what comes in Quran. I'm going to tell you. If something is in the, what is called the Old Testament or the New Testament, yeah. we will only affirm it if it's in Quran. So because Quran has told us that a messenger was sent to the children of Israel, and who, who, who was the Messiah, who was Isa, we, we affirm it. Okay, so you're saying that he was, he, now, yeah, so you're yeah. saying that Isa is Jesus now, right? That's, who Isa is, who Isa is, is what is commonly known in Europe or in the English language as Jesus. And, and it's the same person? Uh, yes, uh, you can take it like this. Okay. So, uh -huh. yes. so the, the commonly known. Yeah. So you're saying that this name that yeah. you came that, that the Eastern name that's supposed to come after this other book, this, this New Testament, let's say, right? Yes. The gospel, right? Yeah. You're saying that the character in there is the same character that's in the Quran. Uh, you mean the one in the Quran is the same as the New Testament? Yeah, I'll say no. Right. Cool. I would agree with that based on the text. But I'll tell you why. Like okay. So what's your name? Terry. Okay, Terry. I'm going to use you as an example. Okay. No, I'm going to use you as an example. If we talk about Terry, I mentioned something about you. I mentioned something about you. I mentioned something about you, but then I I lie about you. Okay. Terry, he was in Stratford, and he was with two friends. Blatant lie, right? Yeah, blatant lie. But then again, you do call all my friends. So oh, that's true. Really that's true. So oh, oh, examples oh, he... are very difficult to use in real world. Okay, he, he approached us and there was a man on his right and on his left while okay. he spoke to you, sir. Remember, you appreciate that you're setting the scenario, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah my point is, my point is, of course, I'm still talking about Terry, even though the description of him may be wrong or I may have lied about him. So, Wow. So let me finish. So when, for example, the Old Testament talks about God, yeah. He created the heavens and the earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. We affirm that they are talking about Allah, He created the heavens and the earth, but we negate the fact that He rested on the seventh day. 
Okay, so you're, you're, you're saying you, now, you, you see my point. I you see, see my point. argument. I see your point. Your point is that misrepresentation. But you're saying what you're saying yeah. is that these people have misrepresented how the thing goes. They've misrepresented this God thing. I'm not even going to come to say Allah yet. No this problem. God thing. And yeah. Not, they dis they've misrepresented this Jesus thing. Yes. So everybody who associates a certain behaviour and certain events with this Jesus, if the Quran just says that it's not in there, if it's not mentioned in the Quran, therefore you, the Quran, does not verify it. Would that be fair enough? One hundred percent. Yes. Right. If that's one hundred percent right, then how can you how can you align Allah with God? Because if that is the case, you're trying, you're aligning Allah with something less than itself. You're aligning Allah with God, and God has got the limitations. Sorry, but I, but. Just, Name, something for God, Allah. Okay, I understand that's how you think about it. Yeah. Uh, so for I understand that's how you think about it. You think it's just different names. I'll just show you something so you understand this. They've got this thing in this country they call white lights. Whereas, whereas people of a certain cultural way, standard, it's, they, they, it's, it's alright to lie. It's alright to lie, white lie. It's okay. Now, the Quran don't accept white lies. What they call white lies. Abraham lied about his wife. Yeah, but they don't, did, did Abraham, did, they got, did, they, did Allah accept that? Yes, it's in the Quran. It's in the Quran that Abraham, that Allah accepted. Did Allah uh, encourage it? No, 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 yeah, no. Right. No, well, no, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be. No. I know, I know, I know. You wouldn't be. That's what I'm saying. This is what happened yeah. with it, right? But, so, because you're giving your opinion based on your opinion, bro, which is understandable, but it's not correct. All right. When we look at the simple part of nature, it's not correct. Right, but back to this, or forward to this. What my point is this, is that this thing, I can understand Muslim, submit itself to the will of Allah. It doesn't say submit itself to the will of God, it's Allah. Allah is not God, because if God, if you go for the God thing, the God thing links up with Jesus being the Son of God, Jesus dying on the cross, and here is some of the things that Islam doesn't accept, and also the I just, I disagree. Oh, what, you disagree with that, or you disagree with what I'm saying? I disagree with what you're saying. Oh, so, so this is another kind of Islam then? No, I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, go on. When we say oh Allah, when we say oh Allah, we are referring to the true one who deserves to be worshipped alone. Okay. We don't call oh Allah, God, let me finish, in terms of, let, let me finish, I haven't finished, in terms of worship. So, if, if we are describing yeah, if we are describing to someone, we can use the word creator, we can use the word almighty, we can use the word God, as in the one who alone deserves to be worshipped, but... You got to qualify But, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to acts of worship, as a Muslim, I can say, Oh Allah, forgive me. I cannot say, Oh God, forgive me. Because when it comes to worship, it has to be only that which is mentioned in Quran and Sunnah. Information we can use. Right, so you can, yeah, but I'm telling you, I'm saying to you this, yeah. listen. You understand right. the difference between information I, I, and worship? No, I understand, yeah. I understand, that, yeah, of course yeah. I do understand yeah. the difference between information and worship. Right? Yeah. Come on. Right, but what I'm saying to you is that all of that, what you're talking about, is that some side sidelines thing from what I'm talking about. You're talking about something that that is, um, you don't have to have God to do all of your, or carry out your thing. What I'm saying to you is what I've got on here, yeah. Like, the facing public facing side of it uh -huh. is substandard for me because you've got the one the one true God. Yeah. This is what you've got here. The one true God. Uh -huh. When I was asking your brother, I was asking his brother about this, he goes, Oh we do we do that yes, this is this is what he says. He says well, we do that because a lot of people wouldn't know what we're talking about. Yes, that and is I, the point. I said I I said I understand I understand your in essence I know where you're coming from. In essence but in fact, why but then? If, if, if you know where we're I'm coming from, you, why are you going to say but? I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I'm going to take a side. Because you know but cancels I'm what gonna, came before it. No, it doesn't. It mm. doesn't cancel what came before it. You want to set them rules and make yeah. it be like that. I can turn the square on its okay. side, you know. I'm not, like, uh -huh. I'm not stuck in some rigid kind of little European way of doing this. So. <laughs> yes. Right, good. So what I'm saying to you is this. It's the substandard because what's happened is that this is now become associated with this. Let and me this just see, a, what, what point are you looking at? Read it to me, sorry. It says, Jesus is a Muslim. Yes. And know what one means in essence. But in fact, it's not perfectly correct. This uh -huh. is not the real. I would put down, I will put the real thing here. I would uh -huh. say, Isa is a Muslim. And then if anything, say, say, and then the person asks me, who is Isa? Then I can explain it. Now, if I can put them, 
a lot of people know Muhammad, know about Muhammad, yeah. and a lot of people don't know. Uh -huh. So the excuse of saying, well, people just wouldn't know what we mean, that's your point that we should be able to give you them what you mean in truth, not in falsehood. In truth, it's like you get a little baby, you teach them from the young properly, you don't give them falsehood. And then, and then make the falsehood, wait, make the falsehood become fair seeming, but make it be okay, isn't it? Can I, can I tell you something? If, 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 if you see my what, point? I see your point. Thank you. If we get another opportunity, I would put that post, I would take, I would take on board what you said and put Isa and then brackets, Jesus is a Muslim. I wouldn't use the I would, but, I would, I would not, I would No not, problem, no problem. I would not water down the thing at all, man. Because, because here we're talking about uh, conveying information in a way that can be understood. You cannot. You don't have to agree with me, no, but that's my point. Okay, yeah, but yeah. I say we can have a conversation about it. You, you, no, you no moved to a particular position, which I really respect you for, mm. for doing that, not because it's a point that I put forward, but it's a point of order. No, it makes sense. Right. And also, and, and natural nature tends to make sense, natural things in nature. I agree. The next thing is this, but what I'm saying to you is this, and this is why I've taken my time out since I've seen these things, because I know that we've inherited something, right? all of us. We've inherited a whole way of things that's been done that was set up in the past to, to no distract doubt. us. No right? And then those people who set up was dead and gone and left the program running on us. I agree. Right? I, so we're all affected by our environment and our right. backgrounds. And, and remember, even Allah's supposed to create it and shake on anyway. So of got, course. So, so all things lead back to that same root. Yeah? Mm -hmm. so, so what I'm saying, it is a t it could be a test for us under righteousness, under the righteousness banner. Yeah? And so if it's, when the truth comes, should we surrender to the truth? And those who say they are of the book, those who say they are of this, yeah. they have to show it in deeds. How would we know? It's in their deeds, isn't it? Yes. If they can be corrected in it, in the day, in the simple, broad daylight of truth, common sense truth that we've all been born with, all right, that we can then weigh up and value. Those simple things. Somebody can't do that. Egos coming in, all the negative egos coming in. We're Stop human, that. yes. Sorry? We're human, we try our best, but it's, it's very hard to block out everything. It's, it's, uh, I hear you in one sense, right? But in another sense, that's not even. That's not even correcting the Christian thing in the text and not correcting the Quranic thing because we don't get it's better for us. <laughs> no, in, if, if, but we knew, no, right? In Quran, we have it. But if we, that's I, what, I, if we, we do. I'll give you two verses. Yeah. One is Allah mentions in the Surah Al Nisa, I can give you the ref, the number, but he mentioned. Mankind has been created weak. We have weaknesses. Second, Allah commands. Fear Allah as much as you're able. What, command, what Allah's commanded us is to fear Him as much as we're able. Because, every, because human beings who are created weak, everything we do has some kind of deficiency in it. So you see, that's very, I'll you, brother, with all due respect, that uh, is very Western way of school of thought. I just, I just gave you evidence from Quran. Yeah, I'm just yeah. I, can't, I can't do anything in a perfect manner. I try my best. Yeah. Okay, all right. If you go into Christian, it talks about this in the Christian. Can I just, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I just, inter just let yeah, me just interrupt yeah, one moment. Yeah. Like, you're talking to me now. Yeah. If we, well, it is recorded anyway. If, if you, if you, if you go back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's all right, good man, good man. But we've got to have a conversation because it's for future generations, right? Yeah, go ahead. If you go back over what you have presented to me now, yes. you will definitely say some of it you agree with, some of it you said, I think I could have said that in a better way. Do you see what I mean? Or okay. if okay. maybe, and Yusuf said this to me and I let it slide, but I should have said this. Yes. Because Human beings, we're not able to do anything perfect, but we do Fattakullahu mastata'atum Fear Allah as much as you're able okay. we, Yes Can I point? Yes okay. I hear that, alright, but also Yeah Yeah There's a deen of Allah Yes So that wouldn't make no sense in what you're talking about if you're following the way of Allah The reason why, because Allah said that He made us perfect already beforehand Right, when we were shaped in the womb 
Yeah, but that's what you're saying. I'm saying to you this. Show right? me where. Right? Where, 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 where it says that we made perfect. That we're not made. That we made perfect. No, we perfected. We are supposed to become perfected. I can't show you where it says it in there. I, I, I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't believe so. I don't have to go and get some. Some of you know knows more about the Quran than me in terms of where to find no the verse, right? But, but I'll say this. This I say this to you again. It's a very westernized school of thought. Way no. of thinking. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. You say things like this, but yet there, there's a whole book that's supposed to come down that's supposed to be perfect. Oh, the book is and perfect. The book, wait, and the book is perfect, and then we're supposed to follow the path, right? And the way, innit? Uh, the best of our ability. Yeah, to, the best of our... We can't do no best of our ability. Hear me good now. We can't do no best of our ability, because it is... We have to have... We hit, can, wait, how does it work again? We submit to Allah, and He provides that for us. Can I give you? He's a, the best. Wait, he's the best of all. No, he's the best provider. He's the best of all of them. Yes, he's perfect. So, so, he's perfect. So the he's book perfect. is perfect. So if the book is perfect, it's not. But if the book is perfect, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Then if we follow that way, don't we become perfected too? Let me give you a practical example. But you have to explain because you gave me one before, which wasn't in the Quran. I never, I never pulled you up to say where is it in the Quran. We tell you about Terry standing up in one. I'm going to give. I'm going to give you a practical example, yeah, go on. not from the Quran, from the Sunnah. The month of Ramadan, yeah. as Muslims we fast. Okay. Before, on the last day of Ramadan, or the last few days of Ramadan, we give something called Zakat al Fitr. Zakat al Fitr is Zakat, uh, a charity. Zakat means to purify, it means to increase. Fitr, Fitr as in the day we open the fast. This money. It should be given to poor people before the Eid prayer is established. So the last, well, it shouldn't only be given money, it should be given in food. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu explained the reason why we give zakat or fitr is to make up for our errors and mistakes we made in Ramadan. Okay. When we pray the five times a day, when we finish, assalamu alaikum to Allah, assalamu alaikum to Allah, from the Sunnah, from the way of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is to seek forgiveness three times. Yeah. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Why? Because we made some deficiency in our prayer. Our mind went, our concentration went. We didn't give Allah his due rights. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said in the authentic hadith, on the day of judgment, the first thing we're going to be held to account for is our prayer. If the prayer is found to be sound, then everything else will be sound and correct. If the prayer is deficient, everything else will be deficient. Then the hadith mentions that Allah will ask the angels, even though, the, even though Allah knows already, has this person done any optional deeds, like optional prayers? Why would he ask the angels if he knows already? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And then, and he said, in order to make up for deficiency, the reason why he asked the angels it's because in the beginning, in Surah Baqarah, when Allah, or from the reasons, when Allah informed the angels He's going to create mankind to be a Khalifa, a generation of successors in, in this world. Yeah, yeah. When, when He's going to create us on the earth, the angels question the wisdom. Why are you going to create mankind on the earth when they will shed blood? And they will cause uh, corruption on the earth. A bit like the Jewish account, yeah. And Allah said to them that I know that which you do not know. So Allah, when the people they worship Allah, Allah boasts and Allah reminds the angels of the good mankind has done. So there are things which Allah knows already. Yes. And Allah will say, look, these are the people you said this, but they done this for me. So, so from the reasons why Allah asked the angels is to show them the, the wisdom of creating us. Okay, that's what you're saying, right? That's what okay, I'm saying. Right. Now, and all of that sounds good. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, just, just okay, sorry, not sorry, to be. Yeah, yeah. The whole point of my long uh, going around the houses, which I sometimes do, is to, to say that Allah does not expect perfection from us. Allah expects us to try as much as we're able. So, the. the, the, the in the New Testament. Yeah. Barakallah. Tadal. The New Testament. Yeah. Gospels talk about we say the Jesus one. Yeah. Be ye perfect. 
as I am going to be. You familiar with that? I'm familiar as and I've heard it before. I can't remember the exact reference, but I am, fa I, I am familiar so that's you're familiar that's the, 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 you know, it's not just some newspaper thing, that's in, actually in the Bible. Right? I've heard it a lot, yeah. Okay, so now, is that correct or is that incorrect? If it's correct, then that doesn't mean two contradictions can't exist, but... Without going around the houses, mm. let me just give you the very, uh, in a nutshell, our position with the Bible. Something which is in the Bible, if it's confirmed by the Quran, we accept it. Something which is in the Bible and is rejected by the Quran, we reject it. Such as uh, God taking a son, such as uh, Jesus dying on the cross, etc. And then third is, if something is mentioned in the Bible and it's not affirmed, or rejected by Quran, we hold back. So, but but this statement about being perfect, I don't think it's possible for a human being to be perfect. Fine, but that's you. That's you. But you're, yeah. you're not. There. No, but the, I gave you from Quran. Fattakullah must fear Allah as much as you're able. You, you, yeah. So you can yeah. say, I can understand where you're coming from yeah. and just the reference that you're using to support yeah. what you're saying. I totally understand that. But what I'm saying to you now yeah. is that the reference where you use that name Jesus, that don't go there. See what I'm saying to you? That goes to where ye are perfect. Be yeah. perfect like me perfect. And uh -huh. that goes there where Matthew, when you quote Matthew, uh -huh. when you talk the other one, it's talking about some man supposed to have been on some cross. Do you understand? And that type of thing. Whereas the Quran don't say he's on, he, he was made to, to have seen like he was there, but he wasn't there. The Quran doesn't say that. It doesn't say that he wasn't on the cross. The, the Quran says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ مَا سَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ Meaning what? We, they did not kill him, they did not crucify him, but it appeared so to them. Just just very simple, yeah. it doesn't say that we made it appear to them, it just said it appeared so to them. They understood it that way. Right. Now when something yeah. appears to me, just yeah. like you could say, Terry standing yeah. up here yeah. and tell a lie about me and yeah. say it appears that he had two people around him. The narrator, the person who's narrating it, that you don't know who's writing it, yeah. is saying these things that is now becomes yeah. word, right? Uh, That's in the word. So he gets a free pass. He doesn't get no scrutiny. The one who's written this thing down to say, Terry had two people standing up there, no, what appears to be. It's a, it's a, it's a side issue. It's a, it's a side oh, issue, but side issue. no, I'll, t I'll tell you why. But it's, it has to do with, um, it, it has to do with the original language. Is that where you want to put it down? I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. In, in Arabic, I'm sure it's in English as well, you can have a verb where the doer is not mentioned. I'll give you an example. Uh, Muhammad hit Ali. Muhammad hit Ali. Okay? Maha you cannot conflate the two. Let me finish, let me finish. Okay. And you can say Ali was hit. When you say Ali was hit, now you can't blame anyone who hit him. You just know that he was hit. Yeah. So when the Quran says it appeared so, it doesn't attribute that Allah made it appear that way. It's just that some people they claimed it. And then the, I'm sorry, the Quran continues by saying those people who say that he was killed on the cross, they only have doubts, they have no certainty. But rather, we raised him. So Allah negates that he died on the cross. Right. So yeah. now, no, yeah. you say Allah negates his dying on the cross, right? Because you just told me about something else. You just told me about it doesn't say this and doesn't say that. So it doesn't you, say that Allah made it appear right, so. It doesn't say, does it say, let me put, put you yeah. to the spot. Yeah. Does it say that what you just, the last sentence that you said there? That yeah, 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 it does. It, it does? It says that Allah says what? No, 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 I'll show, I'll show you what it says. Just, uh, just while I'm finding it, what do you actually believe, sir? Now, what do I believe? Yeah. No, what I know. Oh, what do you know, sorry? Yeah, what do you mean? like what? I don't know. I know. I, I, are you a Muslim? Yeah, I'm born a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Do you believe that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger? Do I believe Muhammad is? Oh, do you do you know that Muhammad is, a, is know, the last yeah, is the messenger? Okay. Uh, let me just see. Yeah. Now, why do you ask those two kind of questions? Because it, because I will tell you, I tell you the honest truth. Yeah, that's what I call I'm dealing with honest. I, I I came here today with the intent of uh, calling people to Islam and trying to clarify. So when we're having a discussion, I'm not sure if you're Muslim. I'm not sure if you're not Muslim. So then it, it shapes the way I, I 
I mean, we're having this conversation about your uh, questions and I'm yeah. trying to put my point across. Okay, yeah. But at the same time, I have an idea in my mind oh, okay. that if you're Muslim or you're not Muslim, okay, I'm, I'm going to call it, yeah. No, no, it doesn't make a difference to the answers, but it makes a difference of, <laughs> am I going to call you to Islam or... Oh, okay. I'm yeah. Right, but what I'm saying to you... Okay, here it is, here it is. Anyway. Uh, one... We're excited what you're talking about. This is to do what? with this Jesus, right? Yeah, so chapter four. 157 yeah. for their saying indeed we have killed messiah jesus yeah. but obviously it doesn't say jesus right, the son of mary the messenger of allah they did not kill him yeah. nor did they crucify him but was made to resemble him to them yeah. and indeed those who differ over it are in doubt about it they have no knowledge of it except they follow assumptions mm -hmm. and they did not kill him for certain Rather, Allah raised him to himself, and he is ever, and, uh, and ever is Allah exalted in might and might. So my point is that those people who say this, Allah says they have no certainty and see, they're in doubt. Saying, see, yeah. saying, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like, as opposed to trying to support the argument and then yeah. when it doesn't hold water, yeah. well, you did that nicely on that one you did, but you need, to, you need to consider that a bit more in that way, it's because Allah can defend himself, right? And when you raise the question, when you oh, raise definitely the question, Allah can defend himself. Yeah, Sorry? definitely Allah can defend right, himself. Well, then that's what we should do. So when when you read it there, yeah. it didn't say what you the point you put picked out and said at the end. It actually says he did not get crucified. He did. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. But then all the rest. This is what my point is. But my those people who say he did, they have no certainty. They only follow doubts. I understand. Yeah. I understand the narrative about all the people over there. But I'm yeah. not talking about all the people over there. I'm talking about now. This is what the Quran is saying about yeah. that situation. That this person that you called the name Jesus to, yes. that the English translation of this is busted. That same name. He's not the same person that people are related to out there that you've got up here. This person out here is the one who got this. Come on, man. This person, uh, he got this on the cross. That's him. No, that's not how we see it. That's not how, no, 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 good brother, good brother. Uh, Watch again. Yeah. Watch again, because that's what I'm saying. You won't be true. Uh, this is on here. Yeah. This one who submits himself to the uh, will of, of Allah. Allah. Yeah. yeah. This one is a fiction. Mm. And when I said this to your brother, he said the reason they put this here uh -huh. is so that because people out here know they're familiar with this. Uh -huh. And I'm saying, why are we putting this here uh -huh. if it's a fiction? Why are we dropping the standard? You know what he said, because they wouldn't know. Well, everybody who sees this one tends to, who doesn't know, tends to look at this one being Jesus who is on a cross. Okay. And then I'll come to you with that question and then you, after you give me all what you've just given uh, me and when you eventually uh, go and read something yeah. in the about it it says that he didn't get put on the cross so we're not only one we've got this Jesus name doesn't exist uh -huh. we've also got he wasn't dead on the cross and then he, the next part you mentioned Matthew and them boys next part they're linking up this Jesus with this word God uh, and then, so now God Jesus on, on the first on the first sorry, uh, God uh, Jesus is now linked with Muslim that's now linked with Allah that now Allah gets dropped down in definition and Allah becomes God as, as I return as I return it as I return it you see my point I see your point but I don't agree with it I, I agree with it to a certain extent but but here we are, we are talking about we are talking about conveying information okay in a way that can be understood now who's the best conveyor Allah so let's go back to what Allah says about it. that verse that you showed me again just put it but up again see the thing is can you put it up again for me no but this this is no? this I don't know no, I will I will but this is not this here is an English translation we don't believe this is a speech of Allah so if I was to say to you if I was just to talk to you in Arabic and say it, it's possible that you understand, but it's possible that someone else doesn't. So we use a translation. This is what I would do, yeah. if you want to do that now. So yeah. Allah hasn't inspired you to come out of a fiction and use English words, and Allah is the best of all knowers, of all knowers, uh -huh. okay? And then he can't inspire you, or Allah can't give you the words to say in English that is truthful. Are you, are you 
we're not. We're not. We're not, we're not on the same page. Terry. All right, then we get the same page then. What you said before, okay. like I said, and you're going to read it in English to me again. Yeah. All right, when you read it in English to me, because if you read it into me in Arabic or in the, I have got no comp. I ain't got no no comment about it because I can't even speak the language first of all. But when you I read it in English, this is not what Allah said. Well, then why are you giving me something that Allah never said? Because I shouldn't have to take something Allah. Why should I take anything less than what Alice can give me? <laughs> because Why are you giving me something watered down. Hal tafham Arabia. Arabia. I'm not too sure what you're talking about. Do you understand Arabic? No. Okay, no, I, I I don't only a little. Only a little. But the thing is, if I if I read it to you in Arabic, you wouldn't understand it. So it's a it's a translation. Translation is not Quran. Translation is a way to convey it. The same way. Where's the word Jesus? Do you think that Allah yeah. taking away doctrine? Because that's yeah. all that is. Do you think that Allah can't speak to me in nature directly to me without me going through the Quran? Do you think Allah can't do that? You see the front covers in between the front covers and the back cover in this book. If this book wasn't there, Allah couldn't speak to me. Uh, question? That's a question here. Yeah. I'm going to answer you. Are you going to answer me? Okay. So basically speaking, Allah has commanded us to judge by the Quran. Allah has commanded us to follow the Quran. Allah has commanded us to read the Quran. Allah has commanded us to contemplate and reflect upon the Quran. So, your question, with all due respect, is irrelevant. You're saying if, because, because you know, I'll tell you why. Because Allah, let me finish, the all wise, the all knowing, chose to send down the Quran as a guidance for mankind. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات. No problem. It means in that that says directly, you know. So remember, Chap chapter two. Muhammad verse, Khalsi couldn't read and couldn't write. He couldn't read or write. Yes. Right. So if he couldn't read and couldn't write, but yeah. he could get a direct inspiration from. From Allah, that he, you want to tell me about the, I, the only way. I but he's the messenger. He received revelation. You're not a messenger. But you're that, but yeah, but you're too, you see now you say I'm not the messenger. I don't have to be the messenger. I just have to receive the message. No. no, I have to, no. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. No. I'm going to show you. I, I'll show you from Quran. I'm going to show you. you no, you can't be... show me from here. I'll tell you why uh, you can't show me from uh, here. Because that thing, that, that verse that you read, yeah. that I said you read it again, you said, oh, well, it's in English. So now you're going to, when you're ready, you're going to want to choose things that you're going to read to me in uh, English from here. But things that don't support your argument, that Allah's put down here, yeah. you don't want to read it again. This is what it says. So it's, it's a defense thing. You're trying to defend something that is beyond you defending. You don't need to defend it. Let Allah be the judge. Let Allah be the one there and let it come that way. And my Thing was nothing to do with all of that, it was just to do with this thing, this thing about this Jesus, the God, and this person dying in the cross, and the reasons why it would be much better to talk the truth. Terry, I don't have anything more to say. You can say your conclusion. Yeah, let me close this then. No problem. Right. Let me close this now. Yes. The whole point is this, my brother, yeah. is to move the envelope. Because of the colonialism that happened, uh -huh. the usurping of power in a lot of countries around the world that we've left, we've become institutionalized with using languages that is not sufficient for what we really mean. And it doesn't, when you take those languages, it doesn't even tie up with the same character. So we become, in, we become, what's the word, by default, do you see what I mean? A, a form, a form of uh, mental slavery, you mean, like that? Or it's, we're a kind of, it's a lie, isn't it? It's a lie, it's satanic, it's shaitanic, it's shaitanic. Terry, I agree with you to a point, but not 100%. That's okay, I say what, agree with this then, All right? I do. because it's in there what it says, and it says about the truth, the truth and the liars. Uh -huh. But I tell you what, I've got to respect No you problem, all. Terry. Thank, thank you very much for your time. And you, yeah? All the best. Thank you. Are you taking your teammates with you? Are you taking your teammates with you? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs>